It's incredibly important to tell the story of Desmond Tutu because the situation in South Africa seems so impossible. And everyone said that change could never come. Everyone said that change would only come through violence and that things had to stay the way that they were with apartheid because if any change was allowed, it would be an explosion. It, there would be chaos. There would be violence. There would be lynchings. And no one believed that a peaceful transfer of power could take place. So for people to understand what it was like in South Africa back then, it was against the law for a black person and a white person to be in the same room together. Desmond Tutu was really on the front lines of the fight against apartheid in South Africa. What a lot of people don't understand is that all of those years, Nelson Mandela was imprisoned on Robben Island, and he was a symbol, but the person who was on the front lines doing the work, trying to keep things from turning violent, trying to keep putting the pressure on the leadership. He had a little bit of protection because he was a part of the Anglican Church, but people all around him were being arrested, were being killed, were being murdered, were being imprisoned for doing the work that he was doing. What he says is, you just put your drop of water into the ocean every day, drop after drop after drop, and it feels like nothing. But pretty soon, after a, everyone does it for a while, things start to shift, the currents change, and all of a sudden you have a tidal wave, and all of a sudden things flip. To make this film, to capture this great man, and to share him with all of humanity for all time was the purpose of making this film, and it, it was really a, a very personal mission of love. Why our struggle is going to succeed? It's not just because of numbers. Our struggle is going to succeed because it is a just struggle. We say we are the rainbow people. We are the new people of a new South Africa. Hello, I'm Dawn Gifford Engel, and I am the director of this feature film, Children of the Light. And you can watch it here on Documentary Showcase. Mm -hmm.